my later 20s um, and the market changed in 2017, all of a sudden I realized and said, wait a second, you know, this this business is not, you know, going to just build itself here. Average number of workers per unit under construction has fallen from six to four over mm. the last 10 years. Why? Average? Well, there's two ways to explain that. Well, one of the ways was that it takes way fucking longer to build things. So the people that are willing to work are stuck on the same project for yeah, like 20, 25% longer. Yeah. Right. Um, the other way is that they're, they're, they're more efficient because have you ever seen the city do work on the roads? Have you ever seen those guys who are, you know, changing that pipe underneath the ground, six feet under? No, and you they don't got, see they, they him. Dig, they dig that hole. You see the eight guys see, telling them what to do. And you see the do. eight guys standing around them, right? With six of them have got a orange... Uh, Smoking uh, cigarettes. Construction uh, hat on. One guy has they to got, stand so there holding the spray home. paint in case they need a spray paint. And, and the other two guys have got the white one with the clipboard. Yeah, hard hat. That's what I was thinking. Right? Think about it. So not the most this. efficient process, especially when the, when the city's involved. On the private side, my, you know, ears to the ground type of info and intel is that people right now, when they're going, when they're in, in, in construction and they're working at these high rises, every day is an opportunity to take a day off. Looks like the <laughs> rain's going to come. We should leave early. Right. Oh, sure. I heard it's going to be really windy. I bet we, we should pack it in. Right. Tomorrow's sure. going to be really hot. Let's all take the day off tomorrow. And there's a lot Too of hot. that. There's a lot of that going on. And guys, sure. are like, you know what? Forget it. Let's not let's not work as hard as we used to. And the pride in their work and everything else like that is going downhill. Nobody gives a shit. They just want right? to get that check and get the fuck out. So what Nobody do we do? Nobody cares. We find people who. So this is what. Um, what about paying Patrick them Francie's a lot of money? About a lot is the employment. The employ unemployment rate's too low. We need to get up that unemployment rate so that people are struggling and they're saying, "Oh my gosh." I'm just lucky to have a job. When do you guys need me to be there? That's when that's when we'll snap out of this because like and I have this I have these type of things right now with my my youngest son, right? Cuz he's he's 5 and he thinks the world owes him something. So you know, you got to train him to make sure he understands, right? You know, oh, no. leaving him outside to sleep and stuff like that lately, The you know? butler sure, boot camp. Make sure he understands what life is really about, you know? Oh, no. Cleaning the eaves troughs, whatever, you know, just basic stuff. Right. Just cleaning and, the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you, know, you don't need a harness, you pussy. <laughs> your small hands can fit in just, there. Just get <laughs> so Use these, your legs. These sense of entitlement, right? It's like this huge sense of entitlement. We need to be reconditioned so that we all look. I went through this. I'll, I'll sure. give you guys like the honest truth is like I had, you know, I've been in business 15 years. And in the beginning of my real estate journey, I did really well. And I thought like, man, this is really easy. And that, you know, it's so simple. You don't you barely have to work. People just call you and they're just looking to. Okay. Can I give you some okay. money, TK? All right. Can I you give you some buy? money? You want to yeah. sell? You Here's wanna, some money. You know, and it conditioned me to think like, oh wow, this is such an easy job. And I'm like 25 years old, you know, young guy, right? Sure. And so in my later 20s, um, and the market changed in 2017, all of a sudden I realized and said, wait a second, you know, this this business is not, you know, gonna just build itself here. You have to. I mean, really they got to do something. Up. I got to do something. And I had something? a couple of years of 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 challenges for sure. Yeah. Right. And now all of a sudden, like I'm, I'm much more grounded where I, I'm very well aware that tomorrow my whole opportunity, the market could go here physically. Something could happen to me. Uh, you know, clients could go other places like there's no guarantee on anything. And that type of mindset is there like every single day when I'm working. And I don't think that that's the same mindset that people have in the general workforce right now. I think no. that they're all sitting there going like my employer owes me. I showed up on time every day for the last three weeks well well I close to on time off. like i was three minutes late i deserve a day off it was right? only three minutes margaret yeah and right? even like yeah you but know, you're white and you're male sorry we gotta let you go and even and even like you know other industries and stuff like that are all sort of facing that like three we have we're, co we're coached by a big real estate uh, uh coach who, who coaches the top teams in, in north america so we hear all these stories of like how what teams are facing, you know, and like the what? type of entitlement. 
just mm-hmm. the type of entitlements that agents have is, you know, everything is always, you owe me, you owe me. I'm, you know, I'm special. I don't need to work hard. I don't need to call the, the leads. Who needs to call the leads? Why would I have mm-hmm. to call those people? Like I asked them if they wanted to buy or sell and they said, no, not right now. Such a jerk. What kind of lead is this shit? Right. And the, this sense of entitlement, right. Is, is prevalent in so many different areas and agents are definitely like, you know, not 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 a uh, extreme example by any means. They're they're just the average Joe is doing the same thing that everyone else is trying to do and is making a living for their family. Hey guys, thanks for watching our clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.